introducing today, and Savannah. Aw, Savannah with the hat and mustache. Thank you, Savannah. How are you? Oh my gosh, Ariana Grande sharing your live out? Oh my gosh, Ariana. Thank you for blessing us sharing out that live. Also guys, if you guys would want to be kind enough to share the live out today, then thank you for doing that. So yeah, um, thanks Ariana Grande. Oh my gosh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, how are you? You can't stop crying. Oh my gosh, Ray, thank you with the lock and key. Wait, Jeffrey, why are you crying? Jeffrey, I miss you already. Oh my gosh, Wyoming was like so much fun. Like, was that, would I say this week or last week? I don't know, <laughs> but it was so much fun. I miss you and I hope you're only crying happy tears. I would like never, oh, <laughs> Jeffrey, I miss you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you, Raluna, for subbing. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey, you're seriously so sweet. I'm so sad too. Like, since I got back, I'm just like, oops, back here in Connecticut. <laughs> and I miss you, and I miss Wyoming. And uh, it was like, seriously, the funnest week. And I'm just so happy that I could be there. Oh my gosh, Dominic, how are you? Thank you for the heart me, Dominic. But yeah, I'm so happy that I could be there to like, support you and like, your store anniversary. And it was seriously so amazing. Like, I had the best time ever. Jeffrey, I want to cry now. Now I, uh, see, I'm like smiling, but I'm like, I'm like crying inside. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I miss you. Oh, Tara, thank you. I'm glad you like my hair today. Guys, actually at Jeffrey's store, that's where I got like these, these hair ties. They're store exclusive. They're so cute. Um, I actually got my hair done like a little bit earlier today, but I was like, I still wanna like, you know, wear these. Um, yes, and Dial, the watermelon collection is seriously amazing. Um, I was like putting on the moisturizer earlier and I've been like obsessed with it. Like, <laughs> Jeffrey, that new watermelon collection, it is, it's seriously the best. Like, oh my gosh, like since I got it, you guys, I've been using it like pretty, and the lip oil. The lip oil is so good. Oh, thanks Leone. I'm glad you like the shirt today. Thank you. I just think it's cute. I don't know. I just really like this like bear. So I'm glad you like it. Of course, Jeffrey. Oh my gosh. Seriously, it's the best. Like everywhere I go, I've just been like, where is it? Oh my gosh, here it is. I'm like, please tell me I didn't lose it. I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna be even more sad. But yeah, I know, Jeffrey, I have literally been bringing Taylor. Hi, Taylor. How are you, Taylor? I hope you're doing amazing. It's good to see you in here. <laughs> but yeah, I have been bringing like the watermelon lip oil with me like everywhere. <laughs> it's seriously the best, Jeffrey, like seriously. It's so good. Like your lip oils are the best and like, yeah, I keep that with like my mirror. Um, oh, Mousy, thank you with the team bracelets. But yeah, I just like, it's like, I'm all, it's, it's good to have this stuff with you, you know? <laughs> what is this community fest thing going on, guys? Is that like started now? It says your popularity points. I, I know there was like kind of like a pre, a pre round thingy, but I'm like, now is it like actually started? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Always a lot of cool stuff going on in TikTok. It's actually been a little bit since I've been at Disney, you guys. So I was at Disney, I think back in like April or May even. Well, I was at Disney in April and then I think I went back like end of April, like early, early, early May. Um, I actually, you guys, will probably be back in Disney in a couple of days, um, but we'll see, we'll see. Would I ever do prank calls again? Ah, uh ah, -uh, you guys, those days are very much over, I think. Like, that's back in like my very, very early days on the internet, and I was so young then. I was like so different than now, I feel like. And I just kind of feel like I've changed a lot since then and grown a lot since then. Like, nowadays, I would, ah, uh ah. -uh. 
I am not about the prank calls anymore. It was fun, like, but like, you know, <laughs> I guess I was just kind of like starting out online and like whatever, you know, but now I'm just kind of like, uh-uh, I do not think that I am about that life anymore. Um, Natalie, so the palette that I used for today's look is the Jeffree Star Wedding Palette. Um, I, I love this palette, you guys. I just think like the wedding palette is so amazing. And, um, I really like it. I, I like a lot of the really like kind of like smoky shades and then also like the really bright pink in it. I just think it's so pretty. So I was kind of like, okay, I wanted to kind of like black and pink today. So that's what I did. I feel like when I do like smoky looks a lot, I'm like, I should use the Star Wedding palette more because I love this palette. It's really so good. My favorite color for eyeshadow, Bridget? It depends. Um, I mean, I do like doing really kind of like smoky looks like this. I love pink. Like pink and black, I feel like is a really, really good combo. Um, I really like blue. If I had to pick one favorite, I might pick blue, but I'm weird, you guys. Like, so I like to do different looks. So I like to do like smoky looks. Sometimes I like to do really colorful, like blues, pinks, purples. Um, it really just depends. Like, it just kind of depends like what I feel like doing, I guess. So it'll kind of change. <laughs> Want to go rollerblading together one day? Ooh, <laughs> that would be fun. Um. I have actually never been rollerblading before. So, I mean, hopefully if I were to try, I would like survive it, but um, <laughs> it seems like that would be fun, you know? Oh, Gabby, thank you. I'm happy that you like the makeup today. Thank you so much. I love doing this kind of makeup, so thank you. <laughs> Alex G fans, thank you so much for the follow. Yes, Natalie, I would 100% recommend the Watermelon Wealth Lip Oil. Honestly, I would recommend all of the new Jeffree Watermelon, um, Watermelon Wealth Collection. It's all really, really, really amazing. And the lip oil, it's like literally one of my new favorite skincare products. I've been carrying it with me everywhere. And it just makes your lips feel really nice, moisturized, hydrated. Um, it smells really great with like the watermelon and I love it. So I would definitely recommend it for sure. All bought, well, thank you. Um, that's really nice, but honestly, I just kind of post more on TikTok now. Um, TikTok, I just feel like in a lot of ways has been a really, really great thing for me. Um, you know, I really love the community on here. I've gotten to connect with some really great people. Um, and having a lot of you guys' support in here really means so much to me. And honestly, I kind of feel like the community and just like everything that I've had on TikTok, like, and the positive, positive things I've had come out of being on here, I've just never really had on like any other platform, which is a really big reason that I love TikTok so much. Saying like, yes! Karomi friend, Wyoming was seriously so amazing. I had such a good time. Like, I really miss Jeffrey and everybody. Oh, <laughs> Jeffrey, hi. <laughs> Jeffrey, I just saw somebody like, like someone just typed in like, Wyoming was so amazing. I'm just like, I know, I miss Jeffrey so much already. <laughs> but yeah, Jeffrey, I miss you. I miss Wyoming. It seriously was, it was so much fun, you guys. Jeffrey, I feel so empty now too. I know. I feel the exact same way. I've just been home the last couple of days, like unpacking. <laughs> it's a good thing you can't see my room right now. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's like, I have like my like Hello Kitty suitcase right now. I'll just like open. It's like, <laughs> oh, and I've just felt so empty. Like, I know, I feel the same way. I'm like, I'm so sad. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. I did have a blast though. Like seriously though, I'm so grateful that I could be there. Like Jeffrey is like seriously one of the most amazing people ever to get to spend time with. Hesper! <laughs> oh my gosh, Hesper, I love you. Thank you so much with the blooming ribbons. So yeah, you guys, I really had the best time. So 
I'm like super, super grateful I got to be there. The story of diversity was amazing, Natalie. Like, if you've ever been to Jeffree's store, um, it's seriously like the most amazing, beautiful store. And I'm so happy for him with that and just like with everything. And I'm so happy that I could be there to, you know, just like support him and everything. And like one whole year, like that's seriously just like so amazing. Yes, Kirobi friend. <laughs> yes, Jeffrey, thank you for like muting some of the mean people and stuff. Like I really, really appreciate it because sometimes like, I don't know, people are just, oh, so <laughs> everybody, Jeffrey is our mod in here. He is like the best ever. He is such a W mod. So if you guys are subs, by the way, put the Jeffrey emotes for Jeffrey and <laughs> Like, thank you to Jeffrey for being so amazing. And yes, he's like the best mod ever. Like seriously, you guys. <laughs> yes, me too. Me too, Karobi friend. Like, like I don't want to sound too mean, but it's like, I appreciate Jeffrey like modding. Like, <laughs> you know, blocking some of these mean people so much. Thank you for doing that, Jeffrey. <laughs> Cause like some of them sometimes guys, they scare me a little bit. I'm just like, you know, the mean people, I'm like, I've kind of had enough problems with some people, <laughs> you know? Yes, Hesper! Seriously, Jeffrey's the best mod ever. I'm so grateful that he's a mod. He's seriously like the best mod in the world. So <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, he's the best, you guys. He is a magical friend to have, exactly, Jenna, exactly. Yes, Melandro, you're like, she finally talks. Um, I usually do talk in my streams, you guys. I mean, like sometimes I'm like, I hope I'm not like too annoying talking. Like, I know like sometimes people type like, um, yeah, your voice is really annoying, Eugenia. So, um, yeah, but I'm kind of like, what else would I do, right? Like if I just kind of sat here like silently, that would probably like not be like, like, I don't know, it'd probably be weird. Yes, Rosie, Jeffrey does have a store. Jeffrey's store is seriously the best. It's in Casper, Wyoming. Um, <laughs> right, Jeffrey, I can't with these people. <laughs> I'm with a lot of you guys, you guys are nice. <laughs> right, the ones that are like, your voice is so annoying. It's like, oh, thank you to Starfire with the hand art. But I'm like, the ones that like say that, I'm like, what do, they, what do people want me to do? I'm like, guys, should I just like sit here? Like, like that's probably worse, isn't it? That's probably like creepy. Um, but yes, you guys, Jeffrey's store in Casper, Wyoming, it's seriously like the most beautiful, amazing makeup store ever. So if you haven't been, you should go if you live in Wyoming. If you don't, you should like fly down. Um, it's worth it. You think I'm slaying with the silence? Aw, thanks. I don't I don't know you guys. I kind of feel like if I just sit here silently. I just don't know. Um <laughs> that would probably be worse. I don't know if it would like creep people out. I don't know. Oh, don't worry, David. No, I feel really, really good. I feel completely good right now. I feel kind of bad. Like my mom thinks that like she might be like sick. Like, like I think it started for her like today is what she was telling me. She's like, oh, I feel kind of sick, Eugenia. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> but she thinks it might just be like her allergies. Like she'll get pretty bad allergies. So I think she's okay, but but yeah, don't worry. I'm, no, I feel, I feel really good. So yeah. Yeah, Jen, my birthday, I can't believe it. It's actually like in a couple of days. So it's actually in the 27th, Um, which was today. Wow, okay, well actually, no, never mind, guys. Sorry, it's not in a couple of days. Um, I'm stupid, sorry. So today's the, 20, the 20th, so it's actually in like a week, but yeah. Oh my gosh, wait! You'll be in Canada. Wait! Jeffrey! No way! Wait, Jeffrey, are you really gonna be in Connecticut? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> wait, for my birthday or 
my mom's birthday. <laughs> Cause I'm like, wait, like, <laughs> yeah, that would, that would make it such a good birthday, Jeffrey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like for either of us, obviously, but um, <laughs> Jeffrey, are you seriously gonna be in Connecticut? Um, <laughs> that would be, that would be such an amazing birthday, you know, if we celebrate with Jeffrey. Um, <laughs> or if you were in Connecticut like next year and I'm, I'm like in May, I don't know if you're, you probably are not talking about my mom's birthday, but <laughs> that would be, yeah, that that's like the best way to celebrate. <laughs> Wait, Jeffrey, are you really gonna be in Connecticut? Like, oh my gosh, if you are, if you're like bored in Connecticut, um, yes, Jeffrey, yay! Um, oh my gosh, yes, it's like celebrating, yay! We're celebrating like a week early. Um, oh my gosh, Hesper, you are so sweet. Thank you so much with all of the confetti. That's crazy. Thank you. I feel like we're like celebrating early, you guys. Oh my gosh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I'm like crying. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. Wait, Jeffrey, I don't know if you're really gonna be in Connecticut, but oh my gosh, if you are, I am like <laughs> sobbing of happiness. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see you. It's like, Guys, we're gonna celebrate. It's gonna be the best birthday. It's like, forget my birthday. Like, it's like a party. Like, it's Jeffrey being in Connecticut, like, <laughs> that right there is like such a party. Yeah, isn't it awesome, you guys? Jeffrey in Connecticut? Wait, Jeffrey, how long has it been since you've been to Connecticut? This is gonna be like such an exciting moment. Oh my gosh. What are you getting here, Jeffrey? Is it like on my birthday or? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. It's like that, like Jeffrey being in Connecticut, that's like such, that alone, it's like my birthday. It's like, who cares? Like Jeffrey being in Connecticut, it's like, <laughs> that's like what the most exciting thing is. I'm actually really, really close to New York. Like I'm in the part of Connecticut that's like right next to New York pretty much. Wait, Jeffrey said I'm moving to Wyoming? Wait, guys. I don't think he typed that, did he? Wait, I always feel so bad. Like when I like miss comments and things like that, I feel so bad. But I do not think he said that. Um, but I would love to, you guys. Honestly, Wyoming, it's like, it's such an amazing place. Like it's seriously such a cool state. And like, even this time guys, like going, I had such a good time. What date? Yeah, okay, it's like the 20th. Guys, is it just me? Or is this month, it, it's going by like so fast. It's crazy. He said that, he said I'm moving to Wyoming. How did I miss it? Yes, you guys, I'm gonna move there. Okay, if Jeffrey says I'm moving there, I, I will move to Wyoming, like, you know? I would love to. Wyoming's actually such a cool state. It's like, guys, like Connecticut, it's like, I mean, Connecticut will be cool like when Jeffrey gets here, obviously. But other than that, oh yeah, after he leaves Connecticut. Oh, I see it now. Oh my gosh, Jeffrey, I don't know if you're still here. <laughs> I'm so sorry I missed your comment though. Ah, I feel so bad. I don't know if he's still even in here, you guys, but okay, yes. That's what we're gonna do. Jeffrey's gonna come visit here in Connecticut. It's gonna be so much fun. And then I'm moving to Wyoming after that. That way we won't have to be apart anymore. <laughs> I miss him so much already. So it's like that way we are, we are back. We can hang out again. It will be so much fun. <laughs> yes, this is, this is my real hair, you guys. Yes, to answer your question. Now, sometimes like if I have like colors in my hair or whatever, if you guys see me like that, then that is not real. That's extensions. <gasps> Hesper, you're so sweet. Thank you for sharing the live out, Hesper. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, this that I have in my hair right now is like, well, not even in my hair. This is my real hair, yes. Eat Hesper, Hello Kitty drama going on TikTok, what? 
sweet, innocent cat? Like Hello Kitty? Wait, what is going on? Aya, how dare you say that about my friend? His makeup is the absolute best. And if you are saying that, you have clearly not tried his makeup. So <laughs> I think you might have to go. Cause guys, listen, if you insult like my amazing friend, if anyone's mean to Jeffrey in here, then I do not want people like that, like, you know, being here. It's like, it's one thing to be mean to me, but it's like, <laughs> Jeffrey is seriously, you guys, one of the sweetest, most amazing people that I've ever known. And if anyone's gonna like mess up my friends, like that is like when it becomes a problem for me. So that's a way to, you know, get blocked, just saying. <laughs> And yeah, you guys, it's like, you know, don't judge someone that you don't know. But wait, what's the drama with like, with, with Hello Kitty, you guys? I actually don't know anything about that. I'm just kind of like, Hello Kitty is just like this sweet cat. What drama could there possibly be with Hello Kitty? Yeah, I know she's not really a cat. I know Sinrio said that, guys. You know, I think it's like, cause like, she's kind of like more like a human, you know, she has like a personality. Miranda, people are allowed to make jokes, okay? Like, I feel like sometimes like, there's a lot of people online that just kind of take like everything super, super seriously when it's like, you know, friends are allowed to like joke with each other, you know? Like friends are allowed to like, say things and it doesn't mean that no it is okay Miranda it's fine to make a joke like I think like some people just take some things like I see it happen online just like way too seriously and they take it as like somebody being mean when they're not you know it's like sometimes I think people just need to like take things a little bit less seriously and just kind of laugh more and exactly, Jada, people take things online just like way out of context and blow it up into something it really, really isn't. And it's weird because like people don't know people's friendships or relationships. And I feel like sometimes people just kind of want to like assume the worst. They just want to assume that, you know, people are being mean when they're not. And that makes me feel bad because I don't want like my friends getting hate when they're not like they've been amazing friends to me exactly Hesper that's the thing is like people don't know people's like friendships and how people are with each other and it's like people make like a joke it's like it doesn't bother me <laughs> you know guys like I'm not that sensitive it's like I have people actually legit be really mean and then people that genuinely are amazing friends to me just the mess how are you? Thank you so much for the ama your amazing bear. I love that bear. That bear is so cute. Thank you. But it's just like, you know, people that genuinely have been like really, really great and amazing friends to me. I just hate to see them get hate for no reason, you know? Thank you, Mousy. And I love Jeffrey so much. Like, honestly, it makes me feel bad because like, he seriously has been, you guys, I can tell you, somebody that's always been there for me, always been an amazing friend to me through so much. And he seriously is like a really, really great friend to me. And if you actually like knew him in person, you guys would know just like what a great person he really is. And, um, you know, to his friends, like he's just seriously like, like I'm so grateful to have him as a friend. Oh no. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Well, I was like, oh cool, maybe we'll do a battle, but I guess maybe we won't. Okay. Well, that's okay, everybody. <laughs> I mean, I guess right now, you know, it's been kind of like a, a weird, crazy year for me in a, in a lot of ways. So I don't know. I'm just really trying to make the best content that I can, doing a lot of like makeup content, sometimes like vlogs or, or that kind of thing. Um, trying to get back into doing lives and, you know, seeing like what you guys hopefully like to see and everything. Um, 
you. I mean, Jeffrey and Paul are both like super, super amazing people. I had so much fun with them this week and getting to hear that I can it all make you happy too. Definitely makes me really happy to hear that. So I do try to take like good care of my hair. Um, I kind of have like a lot of hair and it's pretty long. So I don't know, like today I was actually just at the hair salon a little bit earlier. You know, just kind of try to keep everything in good condition. Yeah, guys, I always want all you guys to know that you're seeing. Like, trust me, I definitely have felt pretty alone a lot in my life. Um, and I know sometimes it can be really tough feeling like that, but always know that you can get through anything. Um, always know that you're cared about, even if sometimes you might feel really alone. And always know that, that you know, nobody's perfect. All we can do every day, I think, is just continue trying to do our best and trying to be the best people that we can be, you know? And sometimes I know it's really hard because sometimes it can just kind of feel like you can never like please people enough and people always kind of have something bad to say, you know? But you just have to know that like there are people out there that do care about you and do see you for who you are. And I think just keep every day trying to like be the best person that you can and do your best every day. And yeah, and always know you're not alone, even like when it might feel like that sometimes. But yeah, you guys, I have a lot of plushies. I have a lot of Sanrio, lots of Karomi. I have like, I have like my Christmas bear here. I love him. Look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh, this Karomi's really cute. She's kind of like a Lolita kind of style. She's kind of like, it's kind of like what's fix her though. <laughs> so I have a lot, you know what other plushies I love you guys? I'll show you guys, really cute. Um, Jeffrey makes like the cutest yak plushies. This one might be my favorite. I love the mint one. This is from like the Wyoming winter. How cute is this? So I, I love the yak plushies. I love my melody also. So I have a bunch of my melodies. <gasps> Awa, thank you for the hand hearts, Awa. And does anybody like Rila Kuma? Because like, uh, I got this one actually at Epcot when I was in like Japan at Disney and I love Rila Kuma and I like Disney a lot, just like in general, you guys. So I have like, you guys know Lucky? Oh my gosh, thank you for the garland. Thank you, Olivia. Can you guys see my Lucky plushie over there? Sorry that my room is like a little bit like not perfect, but um, I love Lucky from 101 Dalmatians. So yeah, I have a lot. I have more, but those are kind of like, I, I'll switch them out sometimes. Honestly, I don't really know. Um, I'm sorry if that makes you like mad or, or sad at all. Um, it's just that right now, um, I'm kind of more so posting on TikTok. Like honestly, like guys, a, a big reason that I like TikTok so much is I just kind of feel like I've had in a lot of ways, like, a better experience um, on here and then a lot of other places. Just like, you know, like here I've just gotten to connect with like some really amazing friends. I've met a lot of really, really great people on here. And yeah, so I mean, I'll definitely be posting a lot on, on, on here. Like I'm not saying I'll never post to YouTube again, guys. Like I'm not saying that, but um, you know, it's just kind of like, yeah, I'm just kind of more posting here right now. Tanya, I think I'm gonna be going to the world. So yeah, I'll probably be there in like, maybe a few days. Cats, I've actually been to Disney so many times. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, my family, like we're, we're big Disney fans, you know? So I mean, yeah, I've been to Disney a decent amount of times, for sure. Wicked Torch? Honestly, not really. Um, I know like some of you guys might hear that and feel like that's weird or like that's bad or whatever, but 
Honestly, like my high school experience was like really, really, really not great. Um, and I never really had a lot of friends in school. So not really. Um, yeah, like my first year of high school, like my freshman year, it was honestly bad enough that I just kind of started homeschooling. So I mean, yeah, I don't really talk to anyone from my school anymore, really. It's probably for the best in some ways, like whatever. <laughs> Hi, Candy, how are you? Yeah, school can be rough, Sherry, definitely. It's like, unfortunately, like not everyone in school, I guess it's always like gonna be like the nicest. So, <laughs> no guys, it's okay. I'm grateful to have like people I feel like are really like good friends to me now. And definitely people in my life that are a lot better than people kind of like from my past and stuff. So it's like, you know, it's not really a bad thing. I am so sorry that you've gone through bullying. Yeah, I know it is definitely not easy. Um, I definitely went through like a lot of that in school too. And I know like when you're going through it, it can just kind of feel like it's never gonna end you guys. Like it, like you get through it, you know, but it's definitely just like not a fun thing to have to go through. So I'm really, really sorry that you had to go through that. And I send so much love to you. Oh, Michaela, you're so sweet. Thank you. I mean, I definitely think you could do a great job with your makeup. You know, anybody can do makeup. It just kind of is like, you know, practice and I think like the more you do it, like the better you kind of get at it, you know? But thank you, that's really sweet. Wait, Mo, people think I'm bullying just for sitting on the live? Wait, what? <laughs> but yeah, no, it is weird. Like some of the comments that I will see people say sometimes, I'm just kind of like, what? Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just kind of like, I'm just trying to sit here and be nice to people. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like if anyone said I was like bullying people, I'm just like, no, you guys, I would never be like that, okay? I'm not that kind of person. And exactly, yeah, I'm just sitting here on my live and if anything, honestly, you guys, I just always want to try to be kind to other people, like honestly. Like, I definitely know what it can feel like to have a lot of people just kind of constantly like putting you down or like being mean to you or whatever. And I know it's not always a great feeling. So I would never want to make another person feel like that. And if anything, I just really always want to try to like put kindness out there and positivity and, you know, just be nice to others. It's really not that hard. So yeah. Oh, Familio, I'm so, so sorry about that. Well, you know, I don't know exactly what's going on with your physical health, so I would never want to give you like, you know, direct advice on that or anything like that. But I would just say like, you know, try to stay um, as positive as you can. Know that you're, you're always cared about and loved and that you do deserve to be healthy and happy and everything. And, um, you know, I would just say like, just try to keep as positive of an attitude as you can always. Like definitely like, you know, try to like stay as positive as, as, as you can and try to do whatever you have to, to like, you know, help yourself and all of that. And, um, and I really, really hope you're okay. Like I said, obviously I don't know exactly like what, like, physical problems you're dealing with, but I'm so sorry about that. Oh, I'm so sorry, Vanilla. Uh, yeah, I know that that's gonna be like really, really difficult. Um, you know, I know like going through like physical things is gonna be really, really hard. So um, I send you so much love and definitely like, please do try to stay strong. Um, know that you're always loved and cared about and you know, definitely try to take care of yourself as much as you can. And I'm really, really sorry that you're like struggling with that right now. I hate that a lot, thank you. I'm definitely just like every day, you know, I feel like 
none of us are perfect and we can all just try to make good progress in life and every day, every day just try to like improve and just be the best people we can be. And you know, that's definitely just what I'm trying to do every day. I definitely know that I'm not perfect and I'm never trying to like claim that I am or anything like that, you guys, but I think that's all any of us can do, you know, is just try to be the best people we can every day and just do our best every day. Me friend, thank you. It's like, you know, I do feel like I'm lucky you guys to have a really good mom um, and like, if anything, like, you know, like I'm, I'm blessed to have her in my life and everything. So it's just kind of like, you know, I don't really think it's bad that we live together right now. I'm sorry if like that bothers some people, but yeah. Yeah, you know, birth to babies is always a fun time, right? <laughs> oh guys, maybe I can give birth. This is actually my favorite Hello Kitty, by the way. I was like, where is she? But she's right here. I like the really scene. Doesn't she look like she like came from MySpace or something? I love her. So if we're going like strictly like Hello Kitty, this one's my favorite. I love her. She's so cute. Yeah, I know me exactly. Thank you. I know it's kind of weird. Like I never really understand why some people care that I love my mom like so much. It's just kind of like, you know, I guess it's okay if they think it's a little weird or like whatever. But it's just kind of like my mom and I, like we do enjoy each other's company and I do feel like I am really lucky to have a really good mom. So I mean, yeah. <gasps> Oli with the hat and mustache. Thank you so much, Oli. Oh, thank you for saying you're proud of me, Art. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just kind of trying to be my best every day and be every day just be the best me and version of me I can be. Jeffrey, I'm so excited for you to be in Connecticut. I'm just like, <laughs> I can't wait. And then after you leave and I just like move to Wyoming, um, <laughs> I can't wait. I won't have to feel empty anymore. Um, Yes, Strawberry, I am okay. Thank you for asking, but don't worry. I'm doing really good. I'm doing totally fine. Don't worry. Which makeup or concealer do I use? Um, So concealer, you guys, I mean, I use like, I mean, I don't know like what kind of makeup you're, you're asking about. Like today I have like the Jeffree Wedding palette, you guys, which is like one of my favorite palettes ever. So yeah, I did like a lot of like black and pink today. Um, the concealer is also the Jeffree concealer and it's like the best concealer ever. Um, like the Magic Star concealer. And the one I have on today, it's like the C1. C2 actually, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm like really like, kind of like pale, like skin you guys. And on me, it's such a good match. Yeah, W, I am moving to Wyoming. Um, <laughs> you must have missed it when Jeffrey came in here earlier. And yeah, he's gonna come to Connecticut for my birthday, guys, like next week. <laughs> and then right after that, I moved to Wyoming. And then, guys, I won't have to feel empty anymore. You know, life will be so good. So <laughs> yeah, we're moving there. It's gonna be amazing. Yes, Layla, Jeffrey does have skincare. Jeffrey's skincare is honestly the best, you guys. It's so good. Like, okay, his new watermelon skincare, you guys, I have been using it so much since getting it. It's seriously so good. It's kind of crazy. I feel really young, so I'm kind of like, what? But, you know, I guess this is just the time I've been on the planet here, so yeah. What's in it? Ooh, I wish I could tell you. I'm so sorry. It has a lot of good ingredients, actually. There's a lot of benefits. So if you go on Jeffrey's like site or probably TikTok shop, so I think you can buy it on TikTok shop too. It will tell you everything. But I could actually probably grab it for you and just like let you know. So give me one second. Oh, you guys, before I can get like what's in it, like how amazing is this packaging here? 
like seriously some of my favorite packaging like okay jeffrey's always got the best packaging but like this is some of my favorite ever no ron johns not full of chemicals this actually has like really really good ingredients for your skin in this like if you look it up there's like really good stuff wait this is the make me melt it has lots of good ingredients you guys so it has 3O ethyl absor absor uh, ascorbic acid and that will make it, it's like a stable form of vitamin C known for brightening and evening the skin tone. It has shea butter, creamy bot botanical emollient with smoothing properties. It has watermelon extract, which is a powerful antioxidant loaded with vitamins A and C that can help to protect and plump the skin. Hyaluric acid for moisture binding properties that can hold its weight onto water a thousand times and help to support optimal skin hydration. And it has niacinamide, which is a form of vitamin B3 that may help with hydration, uneven tone, and environmental stressors. So, no, it's not all chemicals. It has actually really, really good stuff in the moisturizer, guys. And all of this does. I mean, if you read the box too, you'll see there's lots of good stuff in here. It nourishes and moisturizes. It can help stimulate collagen with the lip oil. See, very, very good products. So yeah, and this guy's like the make me melt. This like takes your makeup like right off. It's seriously amazing. And this has lots of good stuff too. This also, also like nourishes your skin, smoothing properties to calm skin, has a calming effect. Like it's a lot of good stuff. Yes, you guys, my nails actually are pink. You guys, you know it's getting cold in my room now when they turn like darker pink. So um, I have my AC on just cause like, obviously it's like, you know, it's summer, it's pretty hot outside right now. I might turn it down like soon though. It's getting a little cold. Guys, this nail polish is crazy. Um, it's a new Hello Taco nail polish. And what it does is it actually changes color. So like when it's colder, it will turn like more of a, like a magenta. And when it's lighter, it's like a really light pink. Isn't that cool? I've never used a color changing nail polish before. This is like my first time. But yeah, it like changes with the temperature. Yeah, Haley, it is really cool. I've had a couple of moments today where I think the temperature was kind of like midway changing and you kind of get like this cool like ombre effect. Really, really cool. So yeah, right now I guess it's kind of a little colder. So it's kind of more magenta-y, which I really like the magenta color. In a way, I kind of wish there was like a color that was like this color just because I really like it. Yeah, Haley, it really is. Like, it's a really, really pretty pink. So, to be completely honest, like, I kind of wish there was, like, another shade that, like, would just, like, stay this color. Because, like, it's nice that it's lighter, too, but I really do like this kind of, like, magenta -y color. I think it's so pretty. I should do a Y2K zebra fit. Ooh, that sounds really cute. I mean, you guys, I love Y2K style. I think Y2K style is awesome. So, I mean, I do think that would be cool, for sure. Okay, so the exact pink, you guys, for any of you guys wondering. So, this is all from Star Wedding Palette. I mainly use today, you guys, like a lot of these kind of like darker shades. Like, I used the Tuxedo Black here. I used a lot of this shade here. Um, I used to cut the cake, which is just such a pretty, just kind of like shiny white. And the pink is the, um, oh, it's not Lord Star, I'm so sorry. It's Mrs. Star right there though. See that middle pink? And that middle pink, you guys, I'm just like obsessed with it. It's so pretty. So that's the one that I just kind of like blended it with the black. So I know a lot of people went really, really crazy with like that statement of like, Hello Kitty's not a cat, she's a little girl. I think it's kind of like, like, do any of you guys know like Sonic the Hedgehog? You know how like him or like Shadow, they're kind of like personified 
Like they they kind of have like human personalities, like they're more than just an animal, right? So I kind of feel like that's what Sanrio was trying to say. Like they're not really saying like she's not a cat, period. But they're saying she's more like a little girl, like she's more like a human, you know, she has like human characteristics. Like she's not just like a meow, just like a cat. Like she has like a personality. Not Miles, thank you for the follow. Yeah, like I really think that's what Sanrio meant. Like I know a lot of people just went like really crazy with that statement and was like, what? <laughs> but I, to me it makes sense that Hello Kitty is like a little girl. You know, I can understand what they're saying. Oh, Don, thanks for asking about my pup. Thank you for asking about Buzz. Cassie, thank you with the hat and mustache. Buzz is doing really, really good. Thank you for asking. Buzz is seriously, he's such a good dog. We love him. I think right now he's kind of just chilling downstairs with my mom, you guys, just kind of hanging out, being the lovely dog that he is. But yeah, my mom was kind of not feeling that great earlier, you guys. So she was like bringing him for a walk, but it wasn't that long of a walk. And I think he kind of wanted to like stay out longer, but. <laughs> It's like, but if my mom isn't feeling that good, then she deserves a rest, so, you know. But he's doing good. Buzz is, he's the best. He's such a great dog. And, and thank you. Like, I don't think she's doing too bad. It might even just kind of be allergies. Isabel, it's so crazy. I think at this point now, Buzz is about like, like 11 or 12, like I can never believe it because I'm just kind of like, wow. It's like, he just has like so much energy and it's like, he just seems like a little puppy a lot of the time. So it's crazy to think about, but yeah. The Razor's Edge, please don't listen to those people. No, Jeffrey is always so kind to me. And to me, it just like makes me upset that anybody would even try to say that Jeffrey is mean to me or is like mean in any way, because honestly, He's been somebody that's been such a better friend to me than so many people in my past. And he's just always seriously, like seriously has always been an amazing friend to me. And I just feel like a lot of people sometimes online will just be so mean and say things about people that like, they don't know what they're talking about and they don't know like what somebody's friendship is like. So it's like, please like, don't ever listen to those people. He's such an amazing person and such an amazing friend. And I miss him already, you guys. I had so much fun in Wyoming. It's just so weird how like people kind of like, you know, say all this stuff about people that like guys, sometimes like they're so wrong about something. It's like, they don't know what they're talking about. So definitely please do not listen to that, that stuff. Thank you, Judy. I adore Jeffrey. Like honestly, Jeffrey has seriously been like to me, you guys, such an amazing friend. And to be completely honest, I, before like, like I met him and like got to know him better and stuff. Like I haven't really had a ton of people in my life that genuinely just have been like really, really good friends to me and just really have been like there for me and that's why like oh it just makes me feel bad like anyone ever saying anything mean to him when they really don't know like how he is as a person and really I'm just so grateful to have him in my life like I really really am and yes Jeffrey is is definitely amazing he really really is you know I've just kind of been unpacking and it's like it's kind of sad getting back from just having such an amazing time. But I really did, I'm so grateful. I got to have like such an incredible week and you know, what? Wait, what do you mean by that secret admirer? I didn't expose, I would never expose his address. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't scare me like that. People are scary sometimes. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, Ollie, Jeffrey deserves so much happiness. Like he really, really does. So I always want him to be happy. And I'm just like super grateful I got to be out there and like celebrating with him and, you know, just getting to like celebrate the anniversary of his beautiful, amazing store. 
and I seriously just had like the best week ever. It was so much fun. So I'm just like super, super grateful for that. And yeah, it was such a good week. Um, so yeah, guys, life was really good. Like I'm super happy I got to be there. Ellie, I'm not going out tonight, no. Tonight, I'm just kind of chilling at home, you guys. Just kind of going live with you guys. So really, just kind of being on live, this is about the closest that we have to going out, really. So no, I'm not going out anywhere tonight. My favorite thing at Disney, oh, that's hard, you guys. Disney, I feel like, has a lot of really cool, like, magical things. Um, I love the Small World ride. I love the Haunted Mansion. It's always cool. Gwen! Aw, uh, Gwen with the garland. Thank you so much, Gwen. Um, even just kind of, like, walking around, like, Disney. I feel like it's just really magical. I love the Magic Kingdom. The fireworks are always cool to see. No, Courtney, I never really go to Universal. I feel like just kind of like whenever I'm in Disney, I'm such like a Disney person that I kind of just end up spending like all my time there and <laughs> I don't really end up getting to Universal. But yeah. I've been to Universal. I just don't really like typically um, go, I guess. Um, I do have a pet, Matthew, yes. I have a dog, his name is Buzz. He's like so cute and sweet and he's he's amazing. He's a really great dog. Yeah, Eliana, I can relate. I get a little bit scared on some rides too. So like a lot of kind of like the big roller coasters and stuff like that, I won't really go on because like I'm just like, I'm scared. <laughs> Courtney, he's a pug. He's a really, really great dog. I love Buzz. And yes, Luna. I love Jeffrey's Yak shirt so much. So when I was at the Wyoming store, you guys had to, I had to buy like a bunch of the new store exclusives. Cause it's like, you can only get those in the store. You gotta get them and all of his new ones are so cool. So I got a lot of the makeup and meat shirts. I got the really cool, like Jeffrey with the yak. I got the yak daddy. Um, and yeah, I love them. They're so cool. Um, I did get to see the yaks when I was in Wyoming channel, yes. And seriously, Jeffrey's yaks are so amazing. They are such beautiful animals and I think it's so cool to like see him with his yaks because you can just tell that he is such like a wonderful owner to them and that they love him so much and they're just so sweet and cute and I love them. It's so cool to see them. It's so cool. It's so cool to see his dogs, his camels. Like he's got like the most amazing animals. Like they're so cool. Jeffrey's yak sticks, they're awesome. I think it's really, really cool that Jeffrey like has like his like yak meat and his pets, you know? And I just think it's, it's, it's super cool. You know, like I think like, you know, there's a lot of good things about like, like, how do I say it? Like, okay, like yak has lots of like health benefits and like really cool things like that. And you know, he does a great job with his yak meat. So I think it's so cool that he does that. And tell you his pets are like, that's different. You know, it's like two separate things. And his pets, they're seriously like so adorable and sweet and amazing. And you can just tell like he loves them so much and that like they love him so much. And they're just like super, super cool animals. My favorite moisturizers, Definitely the Jeffrey moisturizers. I think Jeffrey's moisturizers are amazing. My favorite right now, I have to say, is the watermelon one because it's so good. This is like the newest um, Jeffrey moisturizer, you guys, and I've been like obsessed with it. It is so good. And look at the packaging. Like seriously, you guys, it's like the most beautiful packaging ever. I love it. So, yeah.
pretty cool. The Wyoming winter is so good. I agree. And especially like if your skin is kind of dry or anything like that, like winter time, Wyoming winter is amazing. I actually have that one right next to me too. The Wyoming winter right here. And this too, you guys. Oh, oh my gosh, the little yak. Look at the cute yak there. Seriously, such a good moisturizer. It's like very hydrating. It's so good. SPAC, are you saying I've never been to Wyoming? What are you talking about? <laughs> SPAC, I was literally just in Wyoming like two days ago. I'm literally just coming back from a Wyoming trip. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, Karomi friend, I don't think they fed outside of their shell either, because I'm like, what? I'm like, are you seriously telling me that I've never been to Wyoming? Like, I was literally just in Wyoming, guys, like two days ago. Like, what even? <laughs> Roluna, you should, uh, you are gonna love the Wyoming Winter Moisturizer, seriously? It is one of the best moisturizers ever. I love it, and if you get like dry skin at all, anything like that, like it is so helpful. It's like very hydrating. I'm gonna talk about that. All I'm gonna say about that is that it's a little bit scary to me that some people go and make up just like blatant lies and things that are absolutely not true. It really makes me just like wonder like, who are these people? Why did they do this? Like what benefit? out of this um and in a way it kind of makes me sad because then it's like all these people come they hate on me um and i know i'm not the only one that gets like fake stories made up about them um but it's just like really crazy to me that people go to such like great extents to like try to like write this like entire story about things that are not true and if some people want to believe that, like, you know, I can't really help that, but it's 100% not. It's like, like, you know, it's it's just completely made up. So it's really, really weird to me. No, Yara, I don't even know who that person is. I, I literally have no idea. And I also kind of wish that some of these people that do like, thank you, I'm Harley Quinn. I really appreciate it. Thank you with, with the hearts, like, I know that people will kind of, thank you, Evan, with the garland, thank you so much. We'll say like it's a legend and this and that, but it's like, kind of even putting that out there just kind of causes people to, you know, assume it's real or go hate on me or hate on anyone that somebody makes a rumor about that isn't true. And just like, to me, it's so crazy because I would never think to go do that, to go write this like anonymous email and make up a fake story about somebody. And yeah, it is all over the place, guys. Like there's a lot of things there that like, it's just, it's so far from the truth. And it's like, I don't really wanna go back there because it's so many years ago and it's like, I just wanna be positive and not have to get involved with that. But I can just tell you that if anyone, like, how do I say this? Like, <laughs> if anyone actually knew me during that time or like, like they could tell you that that story was is 100% made up. It's not real. I'm not afraid to say that because it's not the truth. There's absolutely no truth to that. And it's just a really crazy, weird story. And it's too bad that then some people, it's just really strange. It's just kind of like, not about that. It's more just the fact, like some of the things that they're claiming about me and things like that, that it, are ways that I would never act. And then people are like, yeah, this should be like exposed about it or whatever. It's like, guys, I would never act that way. Um, and it's just kind of like people get like this false perception of me that like is definitely not at all real. And then it's too bad that like, you know, it's not true, Brittany. You can believe whatever you want. I think it's really too bad that like some people feel the need, I guess, to go make up like some crazy email with like some crazy story. And I, I wish people wouldn't do that because 
in turn, it kind of does just get people to like believe things about me that aren't real, that I'm somebody that I'm not. But it just comes down to like false information and um, yeah, there's not really much else to say about it. It just kind of makes me feel bad that like then some people think that's the type of person I... I that gift gallery. Oli, you are seriously so amazing. Oli, I appreciate you so, so, so much. Thank you. Oli lighting up our gift gallery there with the, with that adorable Leon the Kitten. Let's go, Oli. Oli, I really, really appreciate you so much. You are amazing. Thank you. I was just getting a little bit sad thinking about some of that stuff and then you just being the king that you are, lighting up that gift gallery, blessing us there with that Leon. Thank you so much, Oli. You are the best. I'm super, super grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Yara. Honestly, I really do not ever try to do anything wrong. <laughs> So I really, really appreciate you saying that. Like sometimes just like when these crazy stories, like people say like ridiculous made up things. Um, oh, thank you for having mustache. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know if we're gonna re the, reach the hat and mustache goal today, but thanks to you guys with all these hat and mustaches, we are now more than halfway there. Where's my dream vacation? Well, honestly, you guys, I just had like the most amazing week ever in Wyoming. I seriously had like the best time. Like I already miss Jeffrey so much and everyone. It was just so much fun. I had such a good time. Yes, Dana, I am friends with Jeffrey. You saw me on his live, yay. Yes, I was there. I had so much fun that day. I miss it. Katie, thank you for the paper crate. That was seriously such a special day. And honestly, I'm just so, so happy for Jeffrey with everything, you guys. Like he seriously deserves all the love and happiness and success in the world. And it was so special, just like getting to be there for the one year anniversary of his store. And his store is seriously one of the most beautiful, amazing stores in the world. So, I had such a good time. Yes, I wanna go back to Wyoming, Natalie. I miss being there so much already. I really do. No, mommy, listen, friends are allowed to make jokes, okay? Like, I think like sometimes people like, um, like they hear of like something said or whatever, and they're like, this person's being mean or making fun of you or like whatever, and it's like, no, you guys, listen, I'm fine with my friends, like, making a joke. Or, like, you know, making jokes sometimes. <laughs> it's like, I think, like, sometimes online, people just, like, really don't understand people's friendships and just kind of get, like, a little bit too sensitive with stuff. And it's like, there's really nothing wrong with people, guys, like, making, like, a joke sometimes and just having fun. You know, like sometimes I feel like people just kind of have to like learn to like laugh more and you know, not always take everything like so seriously. Like there's like, I would never be offended by that ever. And honestly, like I've been saying you guys, Jeffrey has seriously been one of the best friends that I've ever had in my life. I feel bad like when people even say like this and that or whatever, you know, because it's just like people saying things that don't really know him, that don't really know like our friendship or know what they're talking about. And it's like, no. If they actually knew like how he was towards me, like he's honestly been to me like such an amazing friend and been like, I've had a lot of people in my life that really hasn't, haven't been great friends to me. <laughs> And he seriously has been like such an amazing friend to me and always been there for me. So I just really feel bad sometimes when people are like, you know, saying things without really knowing what they're talking about. Oh no, Dana, dude, you're completely fine. Please don't even worry about that. 
No, you are 100% fine. I didn't think you were doing like anything wrong by what you said at all. I'm just talking about some of the other people that like I'll see like, you know, like, like here. I wasn't talking about you at all. Please don't worry at all. You're fine. Yes, Des, I do really like Monster High. I think Monster High is awesome. So I do, yes. They kind of remind me of kind of like a more kind of like seeing like emo brats. And if you guys didn't know, I was like obsessed with brats. Like I had so many brats dolls. So yeah, I, I do like Monster High a lot. Yes, Dracula is my favorite, definitely. I just think Dracula is so cool, you guys. Like she has like such a cool style. Yes, exactly, Oyo Box. Thank you for saying that. And honestly, like, that's the thing is like Jeffrey really, really has made a huge difference in my life, you guys. Like, in like a lot of really positive ways. And that's why, like, the people say like all this like stuff, like being mean and like otherwise. It's like they don't at all know what they're talking about. Like seriously, like getting to meet like such an amazing friend like him and just getting to like hang out and actually like have some of the funnest times of my life has been amazing and it's some of the times in my life that I'm seriously like the most grateful for like seriously you guys like this year and last year like getting to hang out with him has been seriously some of like the best times ever so it's just so weird like how some people get and like have it's almost like some people don't want me to have friends. It's like, why? Maya, you want me to do a curse or a hex on somebody? I don't think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys, I'm not that kind of person, okay? <laughs> like, listen. If I were to do a curse or a hex on somebody, I've never done that in my life. And I don't know what kind of bad impact that could have on somebody. I know that like going through like hard times in your life is not a fun thing. And I wouldn't want to cause that for anybody. So <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that today. I'm sorry. I don't even know how to do that. You guys, do you guys think I'm some kind of witch or something? I don't know about that. <laughs> Catberry, Jeffrey would never need to apologize to me. I don't know what you're talking about. You guys, like, it's like, for what? <laughs> for being an amazing friend to me, for showing me so much love and kindness always. That's just why I'm just like, it makes me like, it makes me feel bad to even see anyone saying that he has, he does have nothing to apologize for. It's like, ever. It's like, you guys, he's been one of like the best people I've ever had in my life. So he would never need to apologize to me. <laughs> Hi, Karina. Like, I'm just so grateful to have him as a friend. I feel like I'm so blessed. Like, I'm so thankful to God for, like, putting him in my life and, you know, like, no. He would never need to apologize to me. That's actually crazy. But yeah, I love this lip oil. I'm gonna maybe put on a little bit more lipstick, too. Because I've had it on a while. But I love the one I got. Look how cool this is, this makeup bag. See, I got like the lime green, like yellow. I love this one. It might be my favorite of the colors. I really, really like it. But the pink and the orange looks so cool too. And you get all the awesome like, like mystery products. And yeah, you get actually an exclusive like lip gloss too. I got Sandcastle Bling. Super pretty. Yeah, you can order them on Jeffrey's website, Pet Lover. If you go on to Jeffree Star Cosmetics, then you can get the mystery bags. User, thank you with the TikTok. Oh, it's so pretty. When you look at it in the light, it has like a little bit of like a blue sparkle. I love it. The lip oil, I put that on like before I did like redid my lipstick. It's so good. Moisturizer, look at the packaging. It's so gorgeous. 
You get a lot of items in the mystery bag, guys. Like, from you get a huge bag. Like, look how crazy this is. This bag, guys, like, it's insane. It's like one of the biggest makeup bags. So you can fit a lot of makeup in here. And you'll get one of three colors. You'll get green, like this one, pink or orange. If you order three, you get all three, um, which is so cool. And I think you get about like 12 products. You get skincare, you get makeup products. Um, if you want to see, like I actually just made like a, a video, like opening mine and you get so many good products. It's like so worth it, seriously. Yes, Ollie, yes, definitely. Paul is so cool. Like, Paul, it's crazy. It's like, I feel like now, wow. I've known Paul like a pretty long time now. And he's another person that seriously is like one of the nicest people. He's always been a super, super amazing friend to me. And it was so good finally getting to see him. Like, I haven't actually gotten to see Paul Dow since like November, guys, which is like so crazy. So it was so much fun getting to like, see him and just getting to spend more time together, getting to hang out more, just getting to like laugh and have fun. And Wyoming was seriously, guys, it was just such a good trip. Like I miss being there so much. I seriously just had like so much fun, got to just spend time with like really, really great people and amazing friends. Oh, period. I've known Jeffrey a long time now, you know, we're back like both from like the MySpace days. So I've known him a long time now and it's just been so great like this year getting to have so many like fun times like getting to hang out with him getting to like spend time with him in Wyoming and like really he really really is just such an incredible person and one of the kindest people that I've ever known and I don't know like really like he's just always been such an amazing friend to me He's super funny. Like, I just feel like he's a super, super amazing person to get to hang out with. And, you know, he, he's just like such a great person. I can never, ever say enough good things about Jeffrey. Oh my gosh, Kim, you live two hours away from Casper? You're so lucky. Casper is such a beautiful place. Oh, pet lover, I love watching Jeffrey cook bacon too. I agree. I think it's like, he's a pro. He's a pro cooker of bacon, you know? He can just wake up, make that great bacon every day, be super entertaining. <laughs> so I agree, I love his bacon streams too. They're awesome. Yeah, Jackie, I know. I'm sad that Barb's wasn't able to make it too. I miss Barb's. Barb's is so sweet. And I haven't seen Barb's like in real life, I feel like in way too long. So I hope that I get to see her soon. I, I miss Barb's a lot and I feel super, super bad that she wasn't able to make it this time. Cause it definitely would have been super, super awesome to have seen her. But I really hope like I get to see Barb's at something soon and we can hang out again. Cause she's really, really sweet. No, recovery. I don't think Barb's made fun of me a week ago. <laughs> If she did, then she probably had a reason to, you know? I know sometimes I can probably be really annoying or stupid, but you know, Barb's is a super, super sweet person. So I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what was or wasn't said, but you know, if anything was, I'm sure it was just like in good fun, you know, jokes. <laughs> And if anything, I probably deserved it, you know? But no, Barb's is super, super sweet. She's really, really cool. Exactly, Luna. I feel like when you're friends with someone, like it's okay to joke, you know? It's okay to make jokes and just kind of like laugh, you know? I feel like sometimes people just kind of take things like way more seriously than they are sometimes. So like, I don't know. Exactly, pet lover. Yeah, friends joke around all the time. I know, I think that too, like when people act like they really like know somebody's friendship and they're like, what do you think about this person making fun of you? And I'm just kind of like, well guys, like that person is my friend, you know, like I wouldn't be upset. Like it's, it, it, people just make a way bigger deal without like understanding 
people's friendships. Like, it's weird. I know, Karomi friend, it's true. Like, I feel like sometimes too, people just kind of don't want me to have friends and like want me to be sad almost. So they just kind of come in and are like, this person said something bad about you. This person said something bad about you. And at this point, it's kind of just like, you know, guys, like if I consider somebody a friend and they've genuinely been a good friend to me, I just try to like not pay too much attention, you know, to like what the negative people are saying. Because like, I know that person. I know like how their relationship is. And it's like, I just kind of feel like sometimes people just like want to make like drama or make something bad out of nothing. You know? Exactly yelling at it. And it's something wrong with that. You know, just kind of having fun with your friends. And I feel like sometimes friends just kind of make jokes about each other or joke around with each other. And it doesn't mean they're being mean. It doesn't mean that they're like, you know, being bad to you. And sometimes people just kind of don't like, you know, know someone's friendship. Hey, unicorn, you're so sweet. Thank you, I appreciate it. Exactly, Eliana, it's all in good fun. That's exactly it. Exactly, pet lover, I agree. I love when friends can take a joke too. And that's the thing, is like sometimes I feel like we all just kind of need to like laugh more, you know, not take things so seriously. And it's like, if we couldn't laugh, like what fun would there be in the world, you know? And I don't think like, it's like I am, how do I say it? Like being the joke and being, well, listen, I think like if a friend makes a joke about me, it doesn't mean that they think I just like am a joke in general. It's just that you can make a joke about anyone. It doesn't bother me, you know? So it's kind of like, I don't know why sometimes people are so like weird about how they get with like, a joke, you know? And sometimes guys, I probably give people reasons to make a joke about me or make me a joke, okay? Like, you know, it's, it's like, how do I say it? Like, I just like, you know, it, 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 it's not something that like makes me upset or anything like that. Yeah, Gen X Renegade, I agree. I kind of think like some people are just kind of trying to troll me too. And also just kind of trying to, you know. No, Star, I'm not saying I'm trying to do anything on purpose. I'm just saying that sometimes like, you know, how do I say it? I'm just saying that like, you know, I'm probably kind of cringy sometimes. Sometimes there's probably things about me that are kind of like easy to make fun of. <laughs> So it's kind of like, yeah, if somebody makes like a joke about me, I'm not somebody that would be like really like offended or be like, how dare they do that, you know? It's just like not a big deal. It's really not. And especially with like a joke, like I wouldn't be like offended by that. Like I think people are allowed to have fun. Sometimes that's all people are doing are just kind of like having fun and joking about a friend. <laughs> and I just don't think there's anything wrong with that. So that's really all I'm trying to say. It's not about attention, Hazy. We're not talking about attention. Um, I'm talking about people like coming in my live and being like, your friend made fun of you. Your friend did this when they don't know my friendships, you know? They are a lot of time like judging people without knowing them or knowing how someone is in my life. Hi, Anthony, how are you? I hope you're doing amazing. And if anything, it makes me feel bad when someone's been a really, really amazing friend to me. And then people are kind of coming in, talking bad about them, trying to like turn me against them, which I would never do. And just like, you know, being weird about things, I guess. So yeah, guys, that's all I'm trying to say here. Aw, Desert, that's so sweet. Thank you. And I don't ever claim to be perfect. Like, just to be clear, I definitely do not think that I'm perfect in any way. But you know, guys, nobody's perfect. And I just kind of feel like all we can try to do is be the best people that we can be every day. 
And sometimes it's too bad that like some people kind of want to like make everything negative. But I think we just have to like, you know, try to do our part to like stay positive and you know, at the end of the day, like the, the good people in my life, I'm like incredibly grateful for. And like what some people want to say or try to like start up or just like whatever. I really don't think like that's what should matter. You know, it's like, I'm so grateful to have like some really good friends in my life. And like, I wouldn't like ever care about like some people that just kind of want to try to like ruin that or you know if anything it makes me feel bad that like anyone's like mean to people that like I consider really good friends it's like why do people need to be like that yes Miss Merrick exactly live your truth I agree and I think that's what all of us should just do every day you know is like be yourself and know that you know nobody's perfect and that's okay but all we can do every day is like try to be good people try to be kind to others try to just like put positivity out there and you know just kind of like do our best in life every day exactly miss merrick yes spread love not hate exactly it's like there's already in my opinion like way too much hate in the world and too much darkness and it's kind of like, why add to that, you know? So I just think try to put positivity out there and love out there and just try to be the best person you can be every day, you know? I'm not doing anything like that. And if anything, I encourage everybody to try to take good care of their bodies, try to be as healthy as they can, and just try to tell everybody that they deserve happiness and good health and everything. I think I might give you a block I'm sorry but just because you know when you keep kind of putting things in the chat looking at your history and you're trying to say things about me that are absolutely not true and nothing I would ever be trying to put across then we don't really want that kind of negativity you know so yeah I don't mean to be mean but you know, if anything, you guys, I just encourage everybody to love themselves, be themselves, try to be as happy and healthy as they can be. And I'm just doing my best in life. That's all I'm trying to do is like live my life. And like, I'm never trying to say that I'm perfect. I'm never trying to say I do everything perfectly, but I'm just trying to, you know, do my best every day. And I think that's all like any of us can do, you know, and yeah. Thank you, Lex. Exactly. That's what I never understand. It's kind of like if you really don't like somebody's live, you can literally just kind of, um, like scroll, you know, go to someone else's live. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to force anyone to be here. Like, if anything, I'm just trying to have a positive live and, um, I'm just trying to, you know, put positivity out there as much as I can. But, you know, that's all I can kind of do from my end. So it's kind of like if some people don't like me, which is fine. But it's like there's so many other people on TikTok that you can just kind of like scroll and watch, you know? Instead of just kind of being like, we don't like Eugenia. <laughs> just a reminder to everyone. Thank you, hey, my name is Anthony. Thank you. It's kind of crazy sometimes because I know. I feel like sometimes people do, like, they get so negative and it's like, it's weird because I really am just kind of sitting here trying to be positive and just trying to be kind to people. So it is kind of weird how some people get, like, I don't really understand it. But yeah, thank you, Brooke. That's how I feel. I just kind of feel like nobody's body is anyone's business, really, you know? Like, like I said, when it comes to anyone's bodies, I would never, first of all, judge anybody or how they look or anything like that i don't feel like that's my place but if anything i just encourage everybody to love themselves try to be healthy and happy and everything and that is all i am trying to say i'm not trying to say anything bad whatsoever so yeah oh thank you alex i appreciate it and yeah you know i definitely myself have been through like some dark times and go through dark times and I definitely know how difficult that can be but you know I always do want to try to be kind to other people and just try to put positivity out there as much as I can and I know it can be hard so 
definitely just like know you're never alone. Know that there's always people that do care about you and do love you. And always know like no matter how hard tonight might be, or no matter how hard any day might be, that things can be okay. There always can be better times ahead. And just try to hang in there. Try to stay as positive as you can. Oh, that's amazing, Alex. You're trying to, you're, you're building a personal relationship with God, which has been so interesting. That is so good to hear, Alex. And, you know, I also um, have, I feel like a really like strong relationship with God. And I think like having faith, it really can be super, super helpful. Um, thank you for the heart, me, Sophia. And I would just definitely say like, you know, remember the things that you are grateful for. Like, I know for me, I'm really thankful for the good times that God has given me in my life and the good people that he's put me in my life. And even though life can be really hard, I do feel like I have a lot of things and some really great people in my life that I'm so thankful for God placing in my life. And I think when you do have that faith to fall back on and to believe in, it really, really can be like really helpful. So I think that's so awesome that you're like connecting with God and that that's been helpful to you. I think that's so amazing to hear. Oh, Andy, thank you. You're so kind, Andy. And thank you. I, I always really do just want to try to be kind to others. I definitely know what it can be like to have people just kind of be really mean to you and how it can be really hurtful. And I never want to like treat others like that. Like if anything, like, you know, I just want to try to be as kind as I can and try to put positivity out there as much as I can for other people. But anyways, you guys, I think that I am gonna get off for tonight. Um, it's been a lot of fun and I really love you guys all so much. So um, thank you guys for everything tonight. I hope you guys have an amazing night. Um, if you guys haven't followed me in here yet and you want to, to know when I'm live, you can. Genix Renegade, have a great night, Genix Renegade. Thank you for everything today. I really appreciate you so much. Thank you, Not Natty White. Thank you so much for the heart me. Um, thank you, Shells with the Rose. And all right, you guys, I love you all. I will talk to you guys later. Good night, everybody.